when you look back uh, to our history up to the last uh, 19th century, the commandant Perry came to open you know, our door. And the, in 1945, we were defeated. And uh, General MacArthur, as a commander, came to Japan. And this, uh, you know, the uh, Western shock made Japan completely change. But uh, since 1945, we have not yet, of course, there is uh, oil crisis, petroleum crisis, 1973, there are many, many economic depressions. But I say to the people, 2020 games is a kind of Western impact, mm. <laughs> right? So the following the Commandant Perry, General Makasa, now 2020 games, as you know, 1964, after the world, we got this Olympic Games. We have completely changed. We have now the Shinkansen Brit train at that time and it modernized the city of Tokyo. So now, 2020 is the last chance for us to recover our economics and to enhance our position in the world. So the Really, we are very happy to have 2020 games. This, with these games, you can persuade our people very easily. If not, it was very, very difficult. I'm very lucky to have this uh, uh, sports event. Before asking the foreigners to come to settle down in Japan, you know, for example, we have to enhance the uh, birth rate. Why younger generation? doesn't like to have more children because of the shortage of the housing, because of the long working hours, and uh, to commute it takes a couple of hours. So especially in Tokyo. So what I'm making is uh, provide more kindergarten mm. and for the elderly people, the nursing houses, and to make more effective our public transformation system. Uh, transportation system. All in all, you can help Japanese people to have more children. So the, it is not absolutely necessary, it, it is not so, so necessary to have foreign immigrants first, of course, but we are open to have the talented persons to come to work in, in Japan. We welcome them. But uh, at the same time, we have to do many, many, we have to implement many, many policies especially in terms of social welfare. As I served as a, a Minister of Social Welfare, I implemented many kind of uh, social policies mm. which permit with other people to work pleasantly and have many more kids and the, you know, the more space in, in the housing. Uh, we have not yet so successful, but I'd like to continue the policies I implemented uh, when I was minister. Uh, as governor, I'd like to do in the big city of Tokyo. You can speak English fluently if you are Japanese, you're right? And you know the foreign cultures, civilizations. But uh, no need to go abroad. You stay in Tokyo, you have a big chance to make money and to promote your career in the direction that you like. So that uh, the problem now is there is not so many opportunity for young talented persons to work in Tokyo. But uh, in the culture, music, and arts, contemporary arts, there are many, many young talents, Japanese talents, who can work their headquarters, right? Are in Tokyo, but they can go to Berlin, they can go to Paris or New York. Mm. So the, these people can move around the world but uh, this one of the center of activity should be not only London, not only in Paris, but should be absolutely in Tokyo. This is my focus. Uh, so that, uh, of course, those who would like to live abroad, they can do that. But uh, Tokyo should be as attractive as that of London or Paris or New York. This is my goal, mm -hmm. culture and the, not only the number of museums, but for example, Paris de Louvre, Louvre Museum can attract, I don't know, 
10 times or 100 times more people than the Tokyo Museum of Arts. So this is the differences. And the, also, Paris is a really international city, and there are too, too many tourists, uh, especially compared with Tokyo. So we'd like to have more tourists. Today, nowadays, we have 10 million tourists per year. But by uh, the year 2020, this number will be double, 20 million. So the, in order to you know, have these tourists, we have to uh, uh, you know, the, uh, widen the airport, for example, and the enhance the capabilities or number of uh, increased uh, flights. So there are many, many jobs that I have to do. Mm. And for example, I met President Park Kune uh, of South Korea. Before the mass media, she has to say always, well, this uh, comfort ladies during the war mm. and this to shrine by prime minister or so forth. She has to say that. I understand that. Wow, well, this is all, always, or oh, she's saying always the same thing. Mm. I understand. But once the journalist withdrew, we can chat very, very frankly. I had no discussion about comfort lady. And we are really discussing very, very deliberately, but passionately, how to enhance our relationships between Seoul and Tokyo and exchange the uh, students, for example, and the cultural you know, the, uh, events. For, and the, but of course, of course, South Korea and China, the different countries. But uh, I also understand why Chinese leaders say almost the same thing, and especially territorial issues. Mm -hmm. Between South, between South Korea, between uh, South Korea and Japan, South, uh, Japan and uh, China, that's a hot issues. But uh, we can put aside these territorial issues, and we can do that. We can work together. So the the trust is not uh, correct word, maybe not appropriate word. But I said I understand their political position, and. So Chinese and Korean leaders should understand the position of Mr. Abe. Mm. I'm a governor. I have no right to intervene in national diplomacy so that I'm free. I'm free to go to Beijing and Taipei at the same time. Mm. When I, I, I was minister, it was impossible. Mm. Uh, I belong to the national government. So the, the fact that I, I, I'm in such a you know, free position, I can do everything that I like. So that to help uh, finding out some solutions or other uh, in terms of you know, the uh, uh, national diplomacy. After my visit to Seoul, and especially after my uh, meeting with President Park, South Korea, uh, you know, the editorials of national newspaper of South Korea has greatly changed. They are now saying to President Park, well, don't stick to such a strong position. Just make, make compromises. But as a matter of fact, fact in Japan, still the a, a kind of newspapers, very tough positions. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can appear uh, on TV directly. I can speak to the people directly uh, as a former anchorman. And the, I can't persuade the people. Uh, both China, South Korea and Japan, that, uh, for example, now one of the problems, the hate speech, a direct ban, all this hate speech, like a genocide of the, genocide speech, like the Hitler of the Nazi. Mm. So the, I don't like that. So I asked Mr. Abe to, to pass a bid against the hate speech. But uh, even without any law, the common sense of the people can and keep them out of the street. Mm. So the, uh, I really trust in the common sense of the people, not only in my country, but also in neighboring countries. So I'm rather optimistic about uh, our uh, relationships with our neighbors. Last uh, summer, I decided to retire uh, myself from the political arena. And the, 
I just took uh, less than the FIFA student to run for the uh, governorship for Tokyo. But for the moment, I, I have to work, uh, you know, for the 2020 Olympic Games. I have no idea to return back to the national uh, political field. This is my answer for the moment. So.